What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing, guys? Let's get into the news. First story of the day is about the Google Pixel Book. And if you don't know what the Google Pixel Book is, it is a Chromebook made by Google, and it also runs Android apps. And this computer has been $999 for a while, and it looks like it has just gotten a $100 price drop on a bunch of stores like Best Buy and Amazon and a few others. So if you want to pick one up, it's limitedly dropped down. Is that a word? Drop down. Uh, just for a limited time, $100 down to $899. So if you've been holding out, now would be the perfect time to pick one up. I will link it down below. Next up, Android is officially changing the name of Android Pay over to Google Pay or G Pay, it looks like it might end up being, but it is officially gonna be start calling Google Pay and it's already started right now. If you go to like the Android Pay website, it changed over to Google Pay. And then some of the other vendors like Chase and stuff are already showing Google Pay. I like the name change. Google's obviously the owner of Android and then Android, I don't know, it just, kind of sounds limiting when you have Apple Pay already and now you have Google Pay. Apple Pay is bigger than iPhone, so it's just nice to see and allows them to you know, use and Google Pay on different uh, things that they use other than Android. Maybe your computer can make a payment, maybe something else that doesn't use Android can make a payment. So now Google Pay is gonna be the name for it and I like it. And lastly, Samsung looks to be launching on the Galaxy S9 a new location-based social media app called Us Up. And so it looks like basically on this app, you'll be able to share your location with friends. You'll be able to chat with your friends and that's maybe send some files as well. But I don't know why they're doing this. Another app in the store, it's gonna come preloaded on the phone. There's already so many, like Google Allo already does stuff like this. You know, uh, WhatsApp does stuff like this. There's so many apps that do stuff like this. It's I cannot see it being successful. Sure, Samsung sells a lot of phones and it'll probably end up being on all the 2018 phones that they release, but ultimately I do not think it will succeed. I think it will be dead in the water. I think people will use it just to check it out, even just for a little bit. And unless this is a completely premium and an amazing app, and the other thing is for it to take off, it's gonna have to be available in the Google Play Store so that people that don't have Google or Samsung phones will be able to use it as well. And we'll have to wait and see if they even do that. But ultimately, even if they do do that, I still do not think that this app will take off. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Question out to you guys. What is your favorite social media app? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to go Instagram for me. Well, I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you down the road. Peace.